Hi everyone, Jameson here with a quick review of the Tethys Ultra Bag for smartphones. This will protect your phone from mud and dust and water up to four meters, I believe. And a pretty neat product. I'm going on a tropical vacation in spring, so I wanted something that would allow me to take uh, underwater videos. And I thought this would be a great option. So uh, what we're going to be doing is just doing a quick unboxing or unbagging, I guess. And then I'll go over just what's included, how I like it, and uh, maybe give these guys some uh, test footage of how it works underwater. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the unbagging portion of this, as usual, not very exciting packaging, but who even cares? It comes with a lanyard of about one and a half feet in length. Uh, the clip is detachable, so you can keep it on your neck and pop this off and hand your phone to someone else if you really wanted to. This clip attaches to the top of the device right here. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's a nice material. It's very silky. It's wide band, so you can wear this on your bare skin and not have it cut into you. I really like that um, small detail that they put into that. Also comes with a Velcro strap. First thing I noticed about the Velcro strap is that it's not that typical, really scratchy Velcro, uh, which is a really nice touch because again, you're probably gonna be using this against bare skin. So it feels just like any other fabric, but it still has all the properties of Velcro. And this can be used on the back of the phone where there is, I'll try to get a better shot of this with a camera or something, but um, where there's a hoop where you can thread this through. Uh, very nice if you're gonna be using this perhaps attached to your arm or on your hand is using it some kind of like additional grip. Uh, nice to have that. I probably won't be using that. I didn't use it in any of my tests, but I'll bring it with just in case. And then we have the main feature itself. So like many bags, this has locking mechanisms to keep it in place. Um, and I'll actually go over that a little, a little second or two later. Um, it does have a rear facing window. That's key. I've seen some of these that don't have that. That's pointless. <laughs> you know, you want to be able to take pictures with your main camera, I would think. Um, and that's that's really nice about this one. So if you're going to buy one and it's not this, make sure it has that. Uh, front facing as well. And you can use your smartphone with your phone in it. All the functionality exists. Uh, it is a little funky if it's being bombarded with water and you're trying to use it, but it seems like if you have a little bit of water on there, you can actually scroll through no problem. So if you need to bring up a camera app or something, or even text someone, um, yeah, no functionality lost there. So it looks like we have the 6S in there. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. The swivel clips, or sorry, <coughs> swivel clips, and they just swivel just like that. And this is always the hardest part. It's really like pressurized on there. Eh, come on. I'm gonna have to speed this up. There we go. So I'll try to get a good shot of this, but what it's doing basically is it's using pressure to push the case against itself in that V groove. So it's not just, you know, like that. It's actually pushing something in like that. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe a graphic would do that better justice, but um, let's open this up. Get that 6S out of there. Uh, there was some mention of a free floating band thing that I'm looking into getting that. I'm not sure how to get it. I think you need to give them a review. So I'm not sure if it if there's some funny business going on there, but I'm going to update the video with annotations if uh, that's anything but straightforward. So it also comes with uh, some instructions on the back. If you're storing razor blades in this thing, it says don't do that and you know all the obvious stuff there. Um, how to operate the swivel locks. Funny enough, that's inside the case. I mean, if you didn't already know how to open it, you wouldn't have instructions. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyway, we're going to put the uh, better phone in there, the uh, 6P. And <laughs> I'm actually using the 6P to record this right now, uh, so I don't have a great example um, to show you guys, but I'll take pictures afterwards and put them up on the screen right now. This does do a fairly decent job of illustrating some of the issues with the 6P, and of course I'm going to be focusing on that just because it's my daily driver. So uh, about the same size, or well, exactly the same size, just not the same um, width. It, you can see it kind of cuts off the camera. It works great for other devices like the 6S. I borrowed one of my cousins and it worked great in this thing. Didn't cut off any of the cameras, but in the 6P, being that it's just so ginormous, it does fit in this. You do have to wrench it down a little bit uh, and protects it from water just fine, but 
it cuts off some of the camera, which is a little disappointing. Also on the front, it does cut off the camera there, just because the 6P's cameras are they're right on the edge of this, and it barely fits in this. Uh, other smartphones, most smartphones that are smaller than it, are going to have no problem fitting in this thing. It's like my, uh, my trusty old Nexus 5, may he rest in peace, fits just fine, and you can see the full screen, maybe even have some room to jostle around in there a bit. Oh, it's just, it's beautiful. I love it. Got the nice camera on back. You probably even use the flash. In fact, that's something I'd like to try. Well, guys, this review is going on long enough. I don't think there's anything much to say. Um, if I haven't already put up some demo footage, I'll be doing it now. But if you enjoyed this review and you can convinced to buy the product, please use my Amazon link in the description below. It would help me out greatly. And if you have any questions or concerns about this, please let me know. I'd be very happy to answer them. This has been Jameson with TechSeeker.net. I'll catch you next time.